It is my pleasure to introduce our valedictorian from the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science, Dr. Carlos Zatina. Dr. Zatina defended his PhD dissertation, Network Design Under Uncertainty and Demand Elasticity, under the supervision of Dr. Ivan Contreras in the Department of Mechanical, Industrial and Aerospace Engineering and also Dr. Jean-Francois Cordeaux in the Department of Logistics and Operations Management at HEC. Dr. Zetina's research focuses on mathematical models and innovative solution algorithms for network design problems. His work has led to the publishing of six peer-reviewed journal articles in high-quality international journals and 14 presentations at international and national conferences. Dr. Zina's academic performance is equaled by his generous volunteerism and his commitment to go beyond. He has been the recipient of numerous awards for volunteer work, including the INFORMS Judith Liebman Award, INFORMS Student Chapter Magna Cum Laude Award, and was the CJC valedictorian of the 2006 graduating class. Dr. Zatina is currently a postdoctoral fellow at Polytechnique de Montréal, which is very close to Concordia, and so we look forward to seeing him on campus regularly. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Zatina. Thank you, Dr. Wood Adams. President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Dr. Cody, Dr. Brent, Dr. Felder, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. I am honored and humbled to address you today on behalf of the graduating class of 2019. Je suis très honoré et fier de vous adresser ce soir. Chers collègues, ça fait longtemps que nous avons commencé cette étape de nos vies on the boot qui a mené de grands changements. For some, this meant leaving the comforting walls of their sejep for the unknown and at times cringing halls of the hall building. For others, it meant a more drastic change, a new country, a new culture, a new language, and experiencing for the first time sub-zero temperatures that literally makes breathing hurt. We left our comfort zone aspiring to become engineers and computer scientists, the creme de la creme of all professions, or so we thought. During the next few years, our lives would be filled with numerous challenges, stressful all-nighters where we'd cram in a semester's worth of knowledge in one night, moments of despair when the exam paper before us seemed to be written in some alien language, and flashes of self-doubt in which we questioned if we'd ever be worthy of the Iron Ring. But here we are today, cloaked by the decor of the Wilfrid Pelletier Hall at Place des Arts and cradled by the warmth of our accompanying family and friends, celebrating the fact that we are now fully fledged, bona fide engineers and computer scientists. Felicitations, congratulations. We didn't make this journey alone, though. Behind this celebratory occasion is a multitude of people whose guidance and support made it possible for us to be here today. First and foremost, the families. Les mères, pères, sœurs et frères, et les autres membres de famille. Merci pour votre encouragement. Thank you for helping us through stressful midterms and the occasional setbacks we thought were the end of the world. We may not show it often, but we appreciate you pushing us to work hard for our goals. Just don't make it a habit. To the professors here at Concordia, who spend time preparing class material, giving countless consultation hours, and finding creative ways to keep a somnolent 8 a.m. class from knocking their heads on the desk, your devotion to the cause of higher education, 
all just for the satisfaction of knowing that we'd be standing here today is one of the most selfless acts anyone can do. Thank you. <clears throat> to the staff at Concordia who make all the magic happen behind the scenes, from course registration to room bookings, department budgets, and even today's magnum event. You are the unsung heroes of this institution of higher learning. Thank you. Of course, the last few years would not have been as memorable without the many friends we've made at Concordia. Friends with whom we've shared great moments like going to the firework festival, biking around the island, barbecues at Parc La Fontaine, and weekend getaways to chalets. For us international students, these friends became family, providing us that warm home feeling that got us through these cold winter months. To all those with whom we've shared these and other precious moments, we also thank you. The last few years have been a period of growth. We've not only learned technicalities of each of our fields, but also we've learned about ourselves, our passions and our fears, our strengths and our weaknesses. These will play an important role as we make our way to becoming better professionals, better engineers, and better citizens. In a world that in recent years seems to set itself on fire more frequently, with polarized views on inequality, immigration, and climate change, we must take the lessons, and most importantly, the values we've learned here at Concordia, and make them resonate with the world. As we take the next steps in our paths, let us not simply work, let us not simply study, but instead, let's strive to make this world a better place. Now, some of you might say, why me? I'm not going to make a difference in the world. But as the Creole proverb in my home country, Belize, says, one, one, okra full basket. Ça veut dire, if we each contribute toward a common goal, no matter how big or small each contribution is, eventually, we'll succeed for the common good. Demain, on sera la force qui change le monde. But tonight, bask in this moment of joy. Celebrate this achievement. You've worked hard and you've succeeded. And so I leave this final message to you, my fellow graduates, in the wise words of Cool and the Gang. <clears throat> Celebrate good times, come on. Thank you, merci beaucoup. Thanks very much, Carlos. First thing I want to say is how much I appreciate you taking the time to thank the faculty and staff uh, who really contributed, I think, to, to all of your educations. Uh, certainly faculty and staff uh, are a strong support of the university. Uh, they play a very crucial role, and I'm glad that you pointed that out. There's a theme here tonight of self-doubt. I'm not sure where that's coming from. <laughs> Um, the imposter syndrome that Dr. Brandt and Dr. Felder talked about, Carlos, you referred to self-doubt. So let me just say that I'm confident, I'm confident that the graduates of the Gina Cody School are going to do great things for Quebec, for Canada, and for the world. The world needs Gina Cody graduates. And I want to feel that confidence in part because of something else you said which is about values and about the beauty of experiencing something new and about the potential to grow. And this is just one step in a journey. And all of you, all of us, have enormous potential to grow. And I look forward to hearing more about your growth as the years go by. <clears throat> 